and welcome to our video on Romulus My Father. This segment will be appropriate for Year 12 Advanced and Standard students who have Romulus My Father as their set text for belonging. When you're looking at a mostly autobiographical text, it's probably best to start with the author. So who is Raymond Gator? He is a philosophy professor at the Australian Catholic University and also at prestigious King's College in the UK. Gator frequently engages in moral discussions about topics like reconciliation, the Holocaust and responses to terrorism. He always advocates for compassion in his philosophy, which is also the major thing he tries to emphasise in his written work. We also need to think a little bit about the people and who they come from, or where they come from in this text. So why did people migrate from Yugoslavia in the first place? Yugoslavia was a region that contained the present day nations of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia and Slovenia. The region was invaded in World War II and after that it became communist. Some fled the communist regime. The diverse cultural and religious differences made the region very unstable and ethnic violence broke out. That led to the collapse of Yugoslavia as a nation in 1991. This unrest has caused many to flee Yugoslavia both before and after its collapse, which is probably why there are so many migrants from Yugoslavia. Romulus was born in Romania, a country next to Yugoslavia, which also experienced social upheaval under a communist government, so a very similar experience to Yugoslavians. About 2% of Romanians are ethnically gypsies, and keep in mind that Romulus always refers to himself as a gypsy. Don't forget that Christine is neither Yugoslavian or Romanian, she's actually German, so you have a multitude of ethnicities that are mixing in this story. <clears throat> So let's quickly run back through the plot of Romulus, my father, to refresh your memory. So Romulus is born and goes to Yugoslavia where he becomes a blacksmith. He moves to Germany and during World War II he meets Christine and they get married and have Raymond. So they move to Australia for Christine's health, partly asthma but also due to her mental instabilities that are already on the rise. Romulus lives in the camps there while the family is stationed at Bang Up. Christine has an affair with Mitru and they end up moving to Melbourne. Raymond goes back to live with Romulus because Christine can't handle him and the, uh, the burdens of parenthood. Romulus has his bike accident and Raymond starts sort of experimenting with rebellion against uh, Romulus and his rules. Mitru suicides and Christine gets worse and she follows suit and suicides soon after. Romulus falls in love with Lydia, but then finds out that she's actually married. Susan and Barbara, the two children that Mitru and Christine have together in Melbourne, are adopted and Hora, who is their uncle, grieves for this loss. Romulus has mental health issues of his own and Raymond goes to visit him in the psychiatric hospital in Ballarat. Romulus recovers a little bit and then he meets and marries Milka. Raymond finds Susan and Barbara and tries his best to reunite the family. Romulus gets sick, goes to hospital and dies quite quickly. Raymond then gives the eulogy that was the inspiration for the book Romulus My Father. So hopefully that refreshed your memories a little bit so that when we go through looking at the different themes you'll be able to relate them to the concepts that you've just seen. So common belonging themes in Romulus, my father, things that you might want to make the topic sentences of your essays. The first and obvious one is migrant experiences. So you want to talk about Romulus's experiences, Christine's experiences, and how these differ a little bit from what Raymond goes through as a second generation migrant. Also a sense of place, which incorporates people's reaction to the vast and kind of scary Australian landscape. Mental health issues, so you've got Christine's mental health issues, Mitra's issues, and also Romulus's issues. Relationships, personal values, especially the idea of character. Lack of understanding between the major characters in the story and also between uh, white Australians and new migrants. But the major theme overall is the need to use compassion at all times when you're dealing with people especially uh, making the effort to truly understand people and not just take them at face value. 
So let's start with migrant experiences. The labels that local people use for Romulus, such as Jack and the Bolts, and the labels that Raymond uses as a narrator, like always referring to them as New Australians, shows that being a migrant has a tendency to undermine one's sense of identity. <clears throat> so what this means is that people actually lose their names to their environment. Raymond uses negative diction to emphasise those were the days before multiculturalism. Immigrants were tolerated. So that negative diction there kind of indicates that they're allowed to be there, but nobody really wants them. Raymond uses the Synodosh. Though the landscape is one of rare beauty, to a European eye, it seems desolate. My father could not become reconciled to it. So that emphasises different perspectives on belonging. Romulus always wants to see a European landscape with bright, vivid greens, whereas Raymond comes to understand the landscape for what it is. For Christine, all the dead gums everywhere become a symbol of her desolation. So she too finds it very hard to find a place in Australian landscape. Meanwhile, Raymond's own view, the landscape seemed to have a special beauty, disguised until I was ready for it, shows his changing sense of belonging through the diction disguised. So that shows that the relationship he has with Australia changes from perhaps being more like Romulus's viewpoint to one of someone who considers himself truly Australian. Mental health issues. So this is one of the important points in the novel. If you sort of shy away from this and don't want to discuss it in Romulus, you're going to miss a lot of the important points of the, of the text. So make sure you spend some time talking about Christine and talking about mental health issues. The characterization of Christine brings mental health to the fore. The accumulation, my father, Hora, and I think me true, did not appreciate the degree to which my mother's life and behavior were affected by her psychological illness she could not help herself. Shows that she was judged harshly by all. So she's not finding acceptance in the landscape, she's not finding it from the people around her in the township, and she's not even finding it from her close family and friends. Romulus also experiences mental illness. The low register metaphor, my heart broke when I saw my father in the ward, shrunken and bewildered, shows Raymond's sincerity about the impact of mental illness on sufferers and their families. Another thing you might want to talk about is relationships. There are lots and lots of relationships to explore in Romulus, my father. You could talk about Romulus and Raymond. You could talk about Romulus and Christine, Raymond and Christine, Christine and Mitru. There are lots and lots of choices. However, I think the best relationship to talk about is the friendship between Romulus and Hora because it allows you to talk about values and culture as well. So that's described in the text as being, from the beginning, his relationship with Hora went deeper. Hora and my father talked into the early hours of morning, the kitchen filled with cigarette smoke and the smell of slivervitz. That shows through olfactory imagery that their relationship keeps their culture alive. So slivervitz is a plum brandy that's drunk a lot in Baltic areas, and so that shows that they're kind of bringing their culture with them, and it's integrated as part of their friendship. The accumulation in the friendship was of course marked by virtues such as loyalty, trust and mutual respect, shows that the relationship is also nurturing to their values. They can kind of live their values every day when they talk and debate. So this naturally leads into the idea of personal values. So character, or character as they pronounced it, with the emphasis on the second syllable, was the central moral concept for my father in horror. It stood for a settled disposition for which it was right to uh, probably ad admire someone. The M dashes create a digression which shows that their culture has flavoured their values. So what they're saying there is that the culture is part of what they believe and part of what they live every single day. So in order for their relationship to work, they have to be able to admire the values in one another. Unfortunately, they don't tend to admire the values in too many other people, especially Christine. The anaphora. I know what a good workman is. I know what an honest man is. I know what friendship is. I know because I remember these things in the person of my father, also shows the transmissible nature of these personal values. So the idea is that Romulus nurtured and cultured in his friendships has also been what he's nurtured and cultured in Raymond. 
Another idea that's really important in this text would be understanding and prejudice, or the lack of understanding. So this is particularly when you talk about regions where migrants and regular white Australians at that time came into conflict. And so that was probably due to the white Australia policy, in which a lot of migrant Australians weren't really accepted by the general folk. When Romulus sets a fire to kill a snake, the local newspaper ridiculed the new Australian for his folly. So these strong negative connotations of ridiculed and folly show that they lack understanding for Romulus's behaviour in exactly the same way that he lacks understanding for the Australian landscape. So there's not a lot of understanding or acceptance going on here. Qualifying adjectives such as many and invariably in the camp chose not to utilise the many skills of the foreign workers who were invariably given menial tasks, emphasises the poor attitude of white Australians towards new migrants. So they treat them like they're not really good for anything, even though these people might come with many skills, including Romulus, who is very proud of his workmanship as a blacksmith, they tend to be treated like second-class citizens. Christine is judged harshly by horror in the rhetorical question, how can you let yourself be trampled by such a characterless woman? When you think about their personal values and the idea that character is the most important thing a person can live up to, calling someone characterless is the biggest insult you could possibly give them. So this goes to show that they haven't really tried to understand why Christine acts the way she does. They're just dismissing her and sort of making some assumptions about the way women ought to behave. Raymond explains why Australian women lacked understanding for Christine. Women at that time and in that place were especially vulnerable to the deadening attractions of middle class respectability. So the oxymoron deadening attractions conveys Raymond's view of social conventions as a disservice. So he's saying that the cultural attitudes of the time didn't do much to help each individual come to understand or accept one another. They were almost encouraged to look down their noses at anyone who behaved differently. So that's pretty much the end of what we want to talk about with Romulus, my father. There are a couple of extra resources that you can look at though. There's a great audio interview with Raymond Gator where he talks about the ideas of belonging in his text. There's a film trailer that you can look at and of course you can watch the film. And there's also a link to some fairly heavy essays by Gator and some other philosophers. So you can follow that link and read them, but I'd make sure I'd done some study on uh, belonging and also on Romulus, my father, before I went to these essays because they're pretty hardcore. So that's the end of this lesson. 